Hey folks, got some pretty important developments in terms of watching Earth's magnetic field. We went over this a couple days ago, but it seems a fair number of you didn't get to see that one. So let's go over it again now that we have another little nudge in that direction. So when we were talking about this, it was related to yet another sighting of the red aurora yet again at lower latitudes than expected. Red aurora are supposed to be a relatively rare thing, reserved for some of the larger solar storms. However, it's been happening over and over and over again this sunspot cycle. In fact, in just the last 12 to 18 months, it has happened more often than it has in many previous whole 11-year cycles, which were much stronger than the cycle that we are in right now. And none of the solar storms that we have had that have produced these red aurora, that have produced the auroral displays down to lower latitudes than expected, have been major geomagnetic storms. Some of them have been strong ones, yes, but no major ones. This is really indicative that Earth's magnetic field is continuing to weaken and leave Earth ever more vulnerable. One of the things we've talked about in the past when it comes to this, in addition to the atmosphere, uh, affects all the way down to the lower atmosphere, uh, the ionosphere, the mesosphere, the ozone, but we've also been talking about Starlink satellites as it appears they are quite sensitive to solar activity and the changing Earth's magnetic field in terms of how it's making Earth more vulnerable to that solar activity. As we mentioned this morning, about 200 were lost, a, a little more than that actually, in just the last couple of months. We did see some of the significant space weather activity during that time. We have had plenty of reason to believe that here during sunspot maximum, the magnetic field should be continuing to weaken as we take some of these punches from the sun, which of course are ever more impactful punches given that Earth's magnetic field is weakening. And Starlink really does appear to be the canary in the coal mine uh, for Earth's vulnerability due to the ongoing magnetic pole shift and specifically uh, our vulnerability to space weather. And so we had mentioned a couple days ago and we'll mention it again now. Uh, Chances are we are probably down a little more in the magnetic field than we had previously been discussing, which was 25%. If you'll recall, back in 1859, we were basically at nearly 100% of where we had been for the last few thousand years. If you go back maybe a million years, we were a little stronger, but in terms of just the last few thousand years where we had stabilized during the Holocene, we were about at 100% all the way up to 1859. By the year 2000, we were down to 90%, lost 10% of the field. That number was updated to 85% by the ESA swarm mission in 2010. Uh, we had to use the data to interpret that we were about another 10% down around 2020 because they stopped giving us the percentage down information, uh, leaving us at around 75%. And so um, at this point, I think it's safe to say we are down to probably about 70% of the field, perhaps even less, which would be a 30% loss. Uh, for those who are keeping track, you can see it here. That is a 10% loss in about 150 years, a 5% loss in only 10 years, then a 10% loss in 10 years. And now we are looking like, if the estimates are correct, uh, based on what we're seeing, uh, another 10% lost in only about six or seven years. So Earth's magnetic field continuing to weaken this pole shift and geomagnetic excursion continues to be ongoing. As of course the galactic current sheet is overtaking the entire solar system, we are seeing changes throughout the planets and in interplanetary space. And these are some of the things we're going to be talking about tomorrow in the live stream with Jimmy Corsetti on Bright Insight. We'll be on both his YouTube channel and Rumble. Uh, I'll hope to get some links out to you guys for that. If I'm not able to do so by the morning news, keep up with our Twitter page, which is linked down below. I will be firing out the link to the show as soon as we get it. But That'll be at about 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, which is, of course, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 3.30 p.m. Pacific. You guys know how time works, right? Anyway, Jimmy is another individual who's really at the forefront of modern day, the rebirth of catastrophism, and I really hope you guys will jump in there and check it out. Uh, just quickly to review, I think there is more than enough evidence to make another update and talk about Earth's magnetic field continuing to weaken. And well, yeah, we could be down 35% all the way to um, what which would be 65% of the total magnetic strength. But I think we can absolutely safely say we are down to at least 70%, which would be a 30% field loss and declining.
So I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. I really hope to see all of you guys over at Bright Insight. Let's make that show a banger. And uh, be safe, everyone.